friends, welcome to Symphony Storytime, where we share two of our favorite things, music and books. I'll be your reader today, and I want you to meet my friend from the Oregon Symphony, who will be playing the music for us. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Karen, and I play the bassoon. And the bassoon sounds like this. <laughs> Our book today is Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. Let's get started. Pete the Cat, I Love My White Shoes. Art by James Dean, creator of Pete the Cat. Story by Eric Litwin, published by Harper. Pete the Cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much he sang this song. I love my white shoes. 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 Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Red! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Everything is cool. I love my red shoes. 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 Oh, no. Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Awesome. I love my blue shoes. 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 Oh no, Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? Brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Groovy. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Oh no, Pete stepped in a bucket of water and all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? White. But now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Rock and roll. I love my wet shoes. 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 of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song, because it's all good. We love how the bassoon sounds with this book, and we also love how Pete the Cat never lets life get him down. Whatever it throws at him, he just rolls with it. I'm going to say goodbye to you now. But Karen's got some music to play before she says goodbye to you. I'll see you next time. Today, I'm going to play for you the Allegro from the Sonata in D minor by C.P.E. Bach. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
studio. My name is Karen Miller Packwood and I play, what instrument do I play? I play the bassoon. So today I'm going to show you how I put my bassoon together. I've got a bunch of different pieces. This is the bottom piece called the boot joint. This is the wing joint. That's right in there. This is called the long joint. I think you can guess why. And these two click together with a little body lock. And here we have the bell, which has one sad little key on it for the lowest note on the bassoon, which is a very important note. And this is the vocal, which fits right in here. The whole instrument fits into my seat strap, which is very important because this thing is kind of heavy. Now this is the most important part because without this, can't make any noise. This is called a reed. It's a double reed instrument, which means there are two pieces of wood that clap together. And they make a lot of noise. When you put them on the bassoon, it sounds like this. studio with you is that I get to show you my read desk. Come take a look. Let's turn this on for you so you can see what's going on here. Um, so I start with this little piece of bamboo and it magically turns into this. Except it's not actually magic. I actually have to use all of these machines that you're seeing here to turn into these reeds. Um, playing in the Oregon Symphony is a full-time job. I have to make about six reads a week just to get the one or two that are good enough to play with my colleagues. Um, so I am forming a lot of reads that get better with age. And this is what I do with my time in my home studio. What do you do with yours? Come take a look. <laughs> 